I think copper's gone. It's been three and a half, four hours. I've searched everywhere. Hiked everywhere, I've driven everywhere. Can't find him. There's not that many people out here. I was just sitting by the water, felt you trying to use the other filter that I have just to see if it would work. He was right next to me. He actually was in the water and then he walked off. And I realized after a little bit, I tried to hit the beeper, nothing. So I finished what I was doing. I got up and I haven't seen him since. Copper! I fear that he's gone. Really the only thing I can hope now is he found somebody or he shows up before dark. I'm just gonna keep on yelling in hopes. I'll let you know later. I don't, I don't know what to do. I'm losing hope. It's been like four or five hours. I have no idea which direction he went. He could have gone up this hill and I even opened up the gate right there and I drove up the hill. I hiked it first and that was shortly after he disappeared. I wonder if sheep showed up in this area and he chased the sheep. I drove all the way around. I hit a four wheel drive trail and then I backed off. I thought it was too much. Drove all the way that way. Only found one campsite that has people in it and it's, I stopped there, but nobody was there. I don't know what to do. I don't know if there is anything I can do. I flew my drone, even though I'm not supposed to because with the wildfires, they don't want you to fly, but I hope somebody picked him up. He probably ran. I hope, hopefully nothing got him. And I'm hoping he was on the road. Someone picked him up. But I'm not gonna go to town now because he might show back up. I'll wait till tonight. He's never been gone this long. He doesn't do this. He, there's something wrong. I'm hiking up this hill again. Maybe my voice will carry a little further. When I get to the top, I'm just gonna sit there and yell. I don't know how he hasn't heard me. Two things happened, someone got him, or he, three things. Someone got him, he went a very long ways, or something got him. I've been walking through where I last saw him and beeping him. I don't hear a beep. Attempted to drive down, I heard some people playing some music. Maybe I'll do that while we have a little daylight left, because me screaming doesn't seem i've been echoing all the way across these damn mountains and it's i mean it's when you're up there it goes a long ways so i just talked to uh people parked on the side of the road no go on them and the closest campers that i would think he would run off to they haven't seen him i said i got a buddy that has a cabin on top of the ridge they'll ask him I just drove the one road that I didn't drive after I talked to those campers. The only campers in the area at all. And the people parked on the side of the road. Nobody seen him? He's not on the road. So, let's hope he makes it back. Well, I'm back at camp. No sign. I guess all I can do now is wait and see if he makes his way back because he must have really took off. I once again just got done hiking. I hiked all the way down this stream, crossed it, hiked back. He has a collar on that'll beep if I'm, you know, within 150 foot or so. It's real crappy, but that's all the further you can hear it beep anyways. And I was hitting it the entire time mainly. No beeps. It's kind of promising because, well, he not drowned or hung somewhere, so. I don't really think it's straight to be honest with you because this is not something I've been trying to avoid this entire time and it sure didn't take long. And with talking to everybody that hasn't found him or seen him, and the amount of screaming I've done, he normally would be back. I'm worried, I am. Today might be the last day I've ever seen copper again. I sure hope not. I've already been freaking out. Like I said, I, I've, I've driven every road and I was going off road on one of the roads and I was panicking and I beat the FJ up more than I should have. I hit some things too hard. I panicked. I'm still in a panic. Kind of calmed down a little bit. 
I don't know how I'm going to sleep tonight. Tell you that much. And if he doesn't show up tonight, come around tomorrow. I know what I'm going to do. Probably wait till noon and drive down to town to get service to see if I got a phone call. Sorry for the bummer, but it, it it's a freaking bummer, man. No sign of him. I've been yelling. I blasted music. I I done everything I can. It's getting cold. I hope he's not out there because he doesn't like the cold. Especially he's probably wet knowing him. I'm gonna probably crawl on this thing and hope for the best. Holy shit, there's ATVs. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please have copper, please have copper. So full they were coming down here. Nope. Dang it. Well, this morning, no sign. I hiked this morning that direction because I heard some crows. So I hiked over there, nothing. And then I drove back to where those people were shooting guns and walked around. I have the beeper collar thing. So I was trying to beep, see if I hear any beeps. I heard no beeps, which is probably a good thing. The only hope I have now is to go to town and hopefully something's on my phone. So I just stopped and I talked to a sheep herder and he said he was working in the corral and I pulled up to the corral yesterday, probably about seven o'clock I'd probably say, I'm not sure, but he said he saw him there. He said he was working there and the dog came through. Um, he described him to a T and that's a long ways away. So he took off. And I have a suspicion he's after them sheep. He seems to think someone probably picked him up. At this point, I have to believe someone picked him up. Even though he ran that far, I think he could find his way back. But that's promising. That, that's promising. He's still either out there or he's camped in someone's camper. And I had, that, that's a good lead. That was a long time ago, granted. But I'm going to run back down to the corral and hoot and holler a little bit. So after I talked to the sheep herder, I drove up to the next campsite. Look what I got. Holy moly. So apparently someone, I'm in Wyoming right now. Shortly after the sheep herder, someone picked him up, drove around campsites and asked if they knew whose dog it was. No, and they said no, they didn't know. So they came back and they dropped the dog off with them. They kept him and they flagged me down as I drove by. I owe them. They tend to think if they wouldn't have picked him up, he would have made it home because he was just circling their camp all night. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so happy right now. Now we got to make sure that doesn't happen again. Well, that was a world of emotions that I hated. That was horrible. I'm not going to let that happen again. This is a weird one. And I had a world of emotions, and I told you guys that I was going to bring you the highs and lows. So, thanks for watching. I'm going to have a much better day. On to the next adventure.